Welcome to a Tuts Plus Quick Tip screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this psychedelic swirling vortex using only a single circle and the transform effect. Now, at first glance, you might think you could only achieve this effect with a complex gradient mesh. But this technique is super easy, and it's a lot of fun. If I view my artwork in outline mode, you can see that it's just a single small circle. And if you look at the appearance panel, you can see the transform effect here. I'm going to drag this to the trash to delete the effect, and we'll start from scratch. So here's my small circle, and it's just filled with this rainbow gradient. I'm going to select the circle, then go up to the effect menu to distort and transform, transform. And the first thing you want to do is turn on the preview. I'll scoot this out of the way so we can see it better. And I'm going to enter an angle in the rotate field of about 3 degrees, just something small depending on the size of your original circle. The next thing I want to change is the scale, and I'm just going to increase the horizontal scale by 101% and do the same with the vertical scale. Now, nothing seems to be happening just yet, but the magic of this effect relies on the number of copies. So I'm going to enter 350 copies, and now you can see the effect start to happen. So what's going on is that the circle is rotating slightly and getting slightly bigger every time it rotates, and that gives us the spiral effect. I'll hold down my Shift key and increase the number of copies by increments of 10 until I fill up the artboard. And that is all there is to it. The effect is still live. If I view it in outline mode, you can see that it's still just a single circle. If you were to expand this effect, you'd get 381 circles. The original plus 380 copies that all increase in size by 101%. You can get some different effects by using different gradients, and you can find more gradients under the library menu here. Any linear gradient will do. I'll choose a couple from the color combinations library. You can of course create your own gradients, or modify any of the built-in swatches. To edit the effect, click on the word transform in the appearance panel. Down here in the lower left of the panel is what's called the proxy, and this grid of squares represents the bounding box on any vector object that you're working with. So right now this transformation is originating from the center of the object. I'm going to turn on the preview button, and then click the little square in the upper left so that the transformation starts there, and you can see that that gives us a kind of nautilus effect. I'll click to edit the transform effect again, turn on the preview button, and you can see what happens when I click some of the other squares on the proxy. You can get some really beautiful effects just by experimenting with different gradients and different origin points. And all you need is a simple circle. 